Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the Bi-Weekly Contest 77. Count unguarded cells in the grid. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially like these uh, contests and stuff like that. Come, there are a lot of contests -y, uh people can, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, so the, the thing I want to say about this one is think about it. Uh, I mean, this can be very tricky to think about, right? Um, first thing I would say is look at constraints. Uh, you, I was going to say something else, but look at constraints. Uh, I don't like the M times N notation. I like R times C notation. But yeah, the number of rows and times the number of columns, uh, number of rows times columns or number of total cells is going to be ten to the fifth, and that is a indication for me that I can um, I can sim simulate it, right? Like I can visually have. Like that's that's only like a hundred thousand cells, right? So, um, so that's good enough for me to simulate it. So that's basically what I did. Um, for easier visualization, the way that I would think about is to you know two D is hard. So one D case, right? And now we instead of having a two D problem, we can think about the one D problem for now. Um, and let's say you have you know, and then you have just like empty spaces. You have uh, a wall. You have Gods, maybe another god, and maybe a war, and maybe another war, maybe god, maybe war, you know, something like that, right? Like, I, I don't know. And then the idea is just, you know, given this, we can just fill it in, right? Um, and, the, and the way to fill it in is, you know, if you, if you do it per god, as you can, and this is, we're going to use the 1D case as visualization for this. We, if you do it per guard, it's going to be too slow, right? Because it, like in, in the worst case, let's say you have something like this, um, eh, maybe it'll be fine. And if you maybe it'll be fine if you're careful, but you still have to be careful. But because if you do every guard and you go all the way left and all the way right, um, that's not going to be that good. Um, eh, maybe that's okay, actually, if you just, you know, be very careful. But the way that I did it is actually slightly uh, different. The way that I did it is just throw to the left and then throw to the right, uh, or throw to the right and then throw to the left, depending on how you want to do it. But what I mean by that is that I just go from here, going from left to right. Um, I go, okay, go, do, 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 do. I see a G, I go, okay. That means that I can now fill in everything to the right, right? So that means that, you know, this is an X, this is an X. I see another guard, so I can fill to the right. I see a wall, so I stop filling. Duh, 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 duh. I I see a guard, I fill to the right. I fill all these to the right. So then this is only filling to the right, right? And then now I do another pass going from right to left, and then I do the same thing. Now I fill in into the left. I fill into the left, and I fill into the left, right? Stuff like that, and then that and that's done. Um, so that's basically it. Is that I treat each problem as, uh. A combination of, of um, you know, like every column is a, its own problem, every row is its own problem, and I just go back and forth, and that's basically the idea. Um, and I think the tricky part is just proving the, the that it's going to be fast enough. And given that m times n is ten to the fifth, and this is just four of those loops, um, it's going to be good. So let's go over the the, the solution. Um, yeah, so I, I have a state of, like I said, you can have R times C, so I do it. I put up, put the guards, I put up the wall, and then this is me going uh, going to the right, doing the algorithm that we just ran about, right? Like, if we see a guard, we set the current as you go to use, then I, I wrote this in a really awkward way, not gonna lie. But and then you just keep on filling into the right. Um, this is the same thing, except for you filling back to the left. Um, Yeah, this is to the up, or this is going down, and this is going up, and that's and then with at the way end, that's it. Um, I think you can also, to be honest, uh, now yeah, and then you count at the end. Um, this is all time c time and all time c space, so linear time, linear space, um, because that's the size of the input. Um. So it seems like I didn't think about this during the contest because I, I did it my way. But I think you can actually also just take each guard and simulate it. Uh, because then in each case, um, as long as you don't, like if you go into the other direction and you see a space that's already seen, um, then that should be okay because then that's linear time because then, um, 
because each space can be only filled once and and be only be checked extra like three or four times or whatever so that should still be good um you just have to be careful but yeah uh, but i did it my my way maybe it's a little bit funky maybe it's a little bit dynamic programming -y. Uh, i'm gonna just show the top half of the code and the bottom half i mean it, i don't think the code is that interesting once you realize what i'm doing but uh, if i could have done this cleaner i don't know if i could win this a little bit slightly cleaner but but uh but yeah maybe i could have hmm. nonetheless this is what i have so yeah um cool uh i mean i could have also um another thing that i could have done is just do this hmm. actually i i think now i think i have a cleaner way is just do this and then and then rotate the, the matrix so then i have a for, for loop of this rotate 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 and then count at the end and then this would cut down on all this code uh we just have to replace it with a with a rotation like a matrix rotation thing uh that would be cool but i didn't do that because i don't know i just didn't think about it uh during the contest uh, remember this is contest code this is me solving it as quickly as possible and i did it in about six minutes so yeah um cool that's all i have for this one let me know what you think and you could watch me solve it live during the contest now we're using making mistakes so i was a little bit slower Should be linear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, should be good. People are really fast.
zone on the floor. I want to Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest bombs. There's a lot of Discord uh, so here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see you. Bye bye.